Hello, I am Veronica Avalos. I am really interested in digital media. I honestly like this class because it's fun. I think my favorite part of this class is creating stuff. I hope to be informed on how to make things move and get to see a new perspective on technology. We used to pin to draw people on the ship. My instructor told us to make the people look far away, so I tried. And by the looks of it, I think it turned out to be good. I use magic to make mu music for my videos and just have fun. It's still a work in progress, though. We can create our own sounds or use loops that are already there. In this lesson, I learned how to curve and select this photo to create a new image. This lesson was really easy. All we basically did was learn how to use the text tool. This lesson was easy. We learned how to use paintbrushes and also masks. This lesson was easy. We learned how to use paintbrushes and also masks. In this lesson, we did our own interests. We learned how to use Photoshop and a picture of myself along with other photos from the internet. We used them to show what we were interested in. I learned how to select an image and put them onto another photo. I used Photoshop in many layers to create this movie poster. I used Flash to create a design for a t-shirt for the New Tech Academy. In this lesson, I used many tools like the Camera Raw tool to balance the photo, the Patch tool to cover up the background, and the Basic Slider tool to correct the color. I used so many selection tools to move the objects onto a plate looking thing. I also used the Alt Copy function to make more than one. In this lesson, I just basically photoshopped a girl into a background. In this lesson, I used multiple tasks like Flash and Premiere to edit this video, and then I posted it on YouTube. In this lesson, we learned how to use stroke, and we also learned how to put a shadow on the pictures. In this lesson, I used Bridge to open up all these photos into a color thing that then I changed the tint and everything else. In this lesson, we learned how to curve the photo. We also used color range and skin tones to make her face look a little more smoother. In this photo, we learned how to use red eye tool and how to this fix the lighting in the background to make it look more perfect.